Oh, there is a lever. Now I just feel dumb. still. Ha! Suck it! Shit! Jesus, they're just throwing gamer score at me. It's another hundred G's right there for that. Where did all this marble come from? Because it's just here. I guess as God, I made it. I can't remember ever making any of this though. Marble requires great heat, pressure, and time to form. So how did I make it? Did I just pop it into existence? I guess I could do that. Or did I have it in another universe cooking for a couple of million years? Uh, both are reasonable. Maybe both, changing it up. I need to work on my memory. Look at this! The world bends to my will. More evidence of my deity, the immense power of my mind. Bow before my ample brow, for I can move things with just a glance. Fear my gaze, lest I move you around. What a polite door! Opening itself upon my approach. The right way to treat your god door. I shall give you great treasures for your compliance. This door? What a conniving door. You can see its proud look as it attempts to thwart me. Why can't you be more like that other door? That other door had respect. I shall walk through this door with head held high. I have bested you, door. Are you not moved? Rotate about me, bridge. Bow to my rotational power. I wonder if this is normal. Moving things with your mind. It must be. I am normal. That cannot be contested. Normal is the norm, and as the only thing, I must be normal. Intrigued.
Close enough. <laughs> I am mighty. I'd rather enjoy moving heavy marble with my mind. It would be a tough job to move this marble by hand, to be honest. What are hands? I can move bridges with my mind. I wonder if I could move them to laughter or tears. They seem to be quite emotionally dead. But with enough anthropomorphism, I'm sure they would lighten up. Thank you, bridges, for bringing things together. I wonder if these bridges deserve my thanks. If they're my creation, is to thank them to thank myself. Hmm. Well, thank me for my excellence. Close enough. Such trivial puzzles for a god. <laughs> this world seems counterintuitive. Not entirely sure what's going on. I seem to be playing a series of practical jokes on myself. Who constructs a world like this? A world that attempts to confound me at every turn. Why did I make such a world? It makes me feel smart, I guess. How gratuitously self-indulgent. Ah! Suck it, puzzle. No. Suck it! Suck it! Oh! I don't know that I like this. The world turns about my pivot. Is it that the world turns around me, or that I turn around the world? If it's just matrix multiplication, then the question is redundant, I'm sure. Cos theta minus sine theta sine theta cos theta. My conscious perspective makes it an incontrovertible fact that I am the center of the universe. Oh. That's a little dizzying. <laughs> This has got to be what it feels like for parents to try and play first-person shooters. Uh. <sighs> Let me off. <sighs> As a god, I can turn any situation to my advantage. The rules of the universe are mine to write. Though they are rather conventional at the moment.
I trying to do? This game is very interesting. Hmm. I feel as if I am cr completing so much. <clears throat> All doing next to nothing. Quite beautiful, really. Every room of this world seems to be carefully crafted for me. A hidden hand woven through the fabric of the universe. A fingerprint everywhere. A different hidden hand guiding my footsteps. The laws unfold, their origins a mystery. But why a mystery? Gods should know all things. This one. Oh my god. That one moved. That one moved. Okay. Back down. <laughs> Shit! this one. I'm just gonna flail at it. Look, I got them all off. I don't know how I did it. Are creators. I must have created this world. <laughs> if not, why would the world have the appearance of craft? Perhaps as I speak, a subconscious part of me is busy making the next room. It is my world after Three. all. I must be working hard right now to build the next room. Or perhaps my mind creates this appearance of order out of the noise. Number one. Oh god, one. One. Two. Chat. of a mind. It is full of inorganic patterns and purposeful architecture. Could a series of complex interactions create an agent possible of making purposeful change in an environment?